Hi everyone, today I want to make a video to show you how to use layers in AutoCAD. Now layers is a very important function or it's a very important thing you can use in AutoCAD um, to maybe just lay out your drawings in different types. So let's say for instance I want to put all the windows on one layer. So then I can go to Format, Layers and create a new layer. So you can hold it, hover over the symbol up there and it shows you what the symbol does. So I'm going to click on new layer and then I'm going to type in window. So just a few checks to do. So as you can see there's a light bulb here. So if that is on that means it will display in your current working space. So you want to leave that on because you want all the windows to be on this layer. And then if you freeze it it means it shows on your workspace but you can't edit it same with lock and also this is going to print as you can see that one is a bit gray and this is not gray so if it's gray it means that it's not going to print or going to show in your plot when you plot this drawing so the color is going to be white the line type is going to be continuous and you can edit all of this if you want to you can change whatever you want to the line weight is going to be set to default Transparency is going to be zero and that's all that's important in your layers. So I'm going to create one for windows. I'm going to create another one for doors. So usually the default settings on all of these, if it's going to display, if the freeze is on, if it's locked, if it's going to print, is all going to be the same. So I'm going to keep it the same because that's the way I'm going to use it. So there's one for windows, there's one for doors, and let's make another one for walls. So as you can see, the default is also kept the same. It's going to display, it's not frozen, the lock is off, it's going to print, and the default colors and so on. So for now, I'm going to close this. I'm going to type in PR to open the properties tab. Let me just try that again. PR enter. Then it opens the property tab. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all the doors. So you select all of the doors. If you want to, you can split them up into inside and outside doors because there's two type of blocks. So you can go up here and you can click on which layer you want to to move all the doors. So I'm going to move it to the doors layer. So now whenever I click on one of the doors, it's going to show me it's on the door layer in the properties tab. So the same with the windows. I'm going to select all the windows. So I've selected something that I don't want to select. So to deselect it, instead of pressing escape, I'm just going to hold down the shift key and click on whatever I don't want so it, that it deselects whatever it is that I didn't want to select. So now I have all the windows selected. I'm going to go to layer, click on windows, and now everything is moved to the windows. And I forgot, I uh, see I have furniture as well. So let's go and create a new layer for furniture. Let's just type in FUR, furniture, keep it all the default, close that, I'm going to select all the furniture, so you can split this up into dining room furniture, living room furniture, all the different type, type of furniture, but I'm just going to put for this example everyone, everything on the same layer. So go back to the properties tab, move it to the furniture and hit escape. So what I've done now is I've divided the drawing up into different parts. So if I go to where the layers are displayed up here in the tabs, I can disable or turn off the layers I don't want to see at this moment. So for now I'm going to turn off the doors and as you can see, I've missed one, but that's not a problem. So I can select it 
and move it to door and you'll see it disappears as well so now i'm going to do the same with the furniture and the same with the wall now the walls are not assigned yet and the same with the windows so now all that's left are the walls so now i can select the walls and move it to the walls layer hit escape and now if i switch off the walls all that's left are the annotations so that's a great tool to use when you're drawing different plans on one drawing so let's say for instance you're drawing a house and you want to make the water plans and the electrical plans and everything on the same on the same plan drawing that you have you can use this function so it's a very useful function so if i only want to see where the doors are located i can switch on the doors and that's where the layout is going to be for all the doors on my plan if i want to put the furniture back on i can switch it on as well if i want to switch on the windows i can do that as well and then you have everything on layers so let's say uh, I want to change the colors of the walls. Then it changes all the walls to the same color. Same with every other element that I've used. But the thing is with the blocks, you have to go into block editor to change the colors of the blocks. As you can see, I've selected red there for that door, but it doesn't change. So I have to go into the block editor by double clicking on that block and saying OK. Now I can select it. Now I can select the door and I can change it to red. So if I close it now, all of the doors, all the outside doors are going to be red. So if you make a change on a block, you have to go into block editor to affect those changes. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.